YouTube, welcome back. So a short time has passed and as we can see all our lines are red. It should be green. So what this means is that we're losing money on all of our flights. So here we have the one from Athens to Rhodes, our headquarters for example. And uh, the green graph here shows how many passengers actually uh, took the flight and the grey ones are empty seats. So yeah, it's not a surprise that we're losing money these um, what do you call these parentheses mean that uh, it's a negative profit so we're losing money although it is seems to be slowly going up here but uh, let's decrease the price for a bit in the hopes that more people will show up and uh, let's do the same for this one where we saw that there were a few people in the beginning but then not anymore uh, there are slots available in the city, but not uh, in our airport, so we cannot increase the flight frequency. So yeah, let's just reduce the price. We'll fly at a very low. We'll we'll have very low ticket prices, just so that people uh, get to know our airline, and uh, hopefully we can then make a profit later. Um, if we look here, we have zero available slots, but we do have quite some money. So what we can also do is have a bit less slots over here. So that uh, Road Island, uh, Rhodes Island, not Rhode Island. Uh, Rhodes Island has uh, a few slots again, and then we can make a new route, and that's uh, what we will do. Oh yeah, let's make Damascus a lot cheaper, and one less fr flight frequency. And what's this? Amman in Jordan, um, four percent. So we had just a few passengers. Let's uh, decrease the price here as well. And um, then let's uh, buy an airplane because we do still have money. Let's buy an airplane and fly. Or, or maybe we can increase this now. Uh, let's fly to um, maybe Rome. Let's see the flight map. Yeah, loading the flight map can take some time especially with these whoa with these kinds of airports okay yeah everyone wants to go all roads seem to lead to Rome um, yeah that might be a good option why not uh, it's a, an expensive airport but there's a very large population and uh, it's also a international hub and a vacation hub okay four of these or maybe we start with two of these uh, let's decrease the price just to be sure uh, we probably won't make a profit then and actually let's have one more airplane make one last route uh, to um, yeah we are a diagonal airway so we uh, want to go in this direction how many kilometers is this this is 1489 and our airplane the Cessna caravan can it has a flying range of 2400 so yeah we can we can go uh, quite a bit further we could go to all the way to london maybe london heathrow very big airport maybe the one of the biggest uh, that's just out of reach uh, so maybe uh, paris then yeah let's go to Charles de gaulle or maybe we want to go to uh, to a less well-known, or what do you call it, not as big of an airport. Something like this one, Geneva, or what's this, Basel Mulhouse Freiburg. Ah, let's do Charles Char de Gaulle. Very big airport. All right. Uh, also, just out of our reach. That's too bad. Well then, how about Milan? Oh, there we might be able to take one of the smaller ones. Like this one. Or this one, Bergamo. Let's check the flight map. Yeah, still plenty of flights to Bergamo. Let's do that. We don't want uh, the most exclusive airports. Uh, we'll take this one. Alright, decrease the price. 
maybe uh, some higher service level uh, and oh this is also a friendly country that's nice which means there's more uh, demand and let's create this one uh, we decrease the price of all of these I hope I hope I didn't forget and then uh, we will check uh, again tomorrow or maybe later to see how it went uh, this was a short episode and uh, there will probably be more to do tomorrow uh, if I don't forget to increase the service funding so we're losing quite a bit of money but let's spend some more anyway like uh, I don't know 10,000 so that our service quality will go up alright uh, thank you very much for watching see you next time